Hello everybody, this is Xenocad82543 welcoming you back to Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles. Uh, we just got done doing a heart to heart last time. This time we're heading back to the Central Factory. Because that's where we were. Get me to the factory vent. And we're gonna head through this vent that we blew up last time and see what's behind it. Hmm. That does not look good. I don't want to go down there. Don't care to go on that platform either. We're just gonna climb up, climb up this vent. here. That's boring. Climbing is boring. Why would I climb when I can just walk up here and drop down? And now we're in the Mechon factory. Thought we were in the Mechon factory before? No. That was the central factory. We're in the Mechon factory proper now. At least we will be once I'm here. This is an area that I, like, often forget about. That's not the Mechon Factory, that's the main central factory out there, where you were. Just because it's kind of, like, walled off from everything else. And there's not that much important stuff back here. Here's the Mechon Factory. Excuse me. It looks like I could drop down here and survive, but there's nothing down there. There's fairies here, too. That's cool. Anyway, we have Daring Assault. You discover mech on waiting when you enter the factory. Break through the enemy. The enemy doesn't care. It's this guy. And I think the two sidekicks have to go down too. Yeah, okay, 69,000 is not unreasonable if you just did 61,000. Didn't really want all these guys in the fight, but it's fine. Fight everything. Mm. Hush Chop is not nice. Hush Chop Fire is not nice. Give me that affinity. Please. The impressive response is it's on the side, not there. Whatever. Keep hitting the wall. I'm gonna take this guy down. I'm turning up the heat. Right. Cool, Giles, Mine. Just got on to the line of the open. Keep missing me, please. We have no healing. Okay, there's a little line. Line needs to 
Oh, you've got an all heal. Okay, we have some heal. Not me, it's Biora. Wow. It's very surprising considering where my HP is at. Hey, I think I hit him with a strength down, which helped. Still, that's really close to death for her. I am kicking you. Okay, it is this one that I'm about to pick. Yeah, he's gonna kill me. And probably Fiora too. He's gonna go for something. Whatever. Something that'll deal damage. Do that. Go ahead. Just get rid of it. Did that work? Yes. Hang on. We're not finished. It's wonderful to be with everyone. You're gonna be useless, Dunban. Also, we just finished off the quest. Help me protect Give it to me. That's not gonna break. You Whatever. I Dunban is useless right now. We can get a break from you though. Now Dumbo is going to be useful. I don't need to change that. I love how they're like, oh, that wasn't hard. I'm like, um, you both almost died. But, oh well. It's fine. Like, Ryan and Fiora almost died, and Dumbo was fine because he didn't have an anti mech on weapon, and so he couldn't draw aggro at all. I'm gonna take all the stuff. That doesn't go anywhere, apparently. Maybe I should link the heal after chain attacks skill. I should do that now, actually. That's a really useful skill to have linked. We do have it on you. It's a circle from Dumban. We have it on you as well. Or a circle from Shulk. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Rather than link anything else. I've got just enough skill points. Just make sure that we get some more healing after chain attacks. Because that'll keep this party going. Anyway, we've made it through there. Probably will never come back. We're on the central tower roof now. Give me more ether stuff. I love how the game gives you quests just to like, like some of the quests that the game is giving are just like, hey, do this thing. I don't know. Take out this enemy, whatever. Make this journey more a little bit more epic. I don't know. It's kind of man. Made it to the central tower barrier. We're at the tower boarding gate. Yay! We hit a. Man mark. Um. Actually. I made it through the factory. We've got to figure out how to open this gate. We're going to figure out how to do that next time. I'm going to go knock out some hard to hearts because I want to get these hard to hearts done soon. Because based on the rate at which I've been gaining affinity, we're going to need to get all these hard to hearts done real soon. 
We're gonna go knock out some hard parts back in like Colony 9 and eat their mind. I know it's not much central factory progress, but I gotta get to these hard hearts at some point. I want to just get rid of them. I want to get as many of them done as soon as possible so that I don't have to worry about them later. We made some progress. We're going to swap back to this party for now. This party all likes each other a lot. Where's the heart to heart? There's the heart to heart. Anyway, we have a hero puns perspective. Charlotte, tell, tell Ricky about Mekon. Ooh. The Mekon? Why? Ricky know nothing about history of Mekon with Hom Hom. Ricky feels stupid. This is unusual for you, Ricky. I guess I'm doing a good road. It's fine. I mean, curiosity is a good thing, but what brought this on? Ricky Gladshaller asked. When Mekon attack colonies, Ricky and villagers know nothing. Just sit in village pon pon ponning about like normal day. I guess Machna wasn't really on the Mekon's radar. Ricky never saw a Mekon before. Only heard of them in whispers. On Prison Island was first time Ricky saw faced one. Ricky scared. Shala was brave though. Ricky embarrassed. Don't beat yourself up, Ricky. I've been fighting the Mekon since I was, well, your height. Shala and friends stronger than Ricky. Ricky not good enough. These feel like it's the same thing. That's nonsense, Ricky. I think you've got it all wrong. Really? I know the Nopon and the Me and Mekon never crossed paths before, but that doesn't mean we think any less of you in a fight. Shala and friends think Ricky crash pal Mekon, okay? Yes. So stop worrying about it. We all have our own reasons for fighting, you included. Whether we've lost something or we have people to fight for. Yay! Ricky glad he talked to Sharla. I hope I helped at least a little bit. Just remember, you're one of us. We're all in this together. Cool. Now let's do the other routes. Like the actual bad routes and then the best route. Oh well. It's been a while since I've done any of these hard parts. Oh, skip ahead. I'm not the best person to ask. There's so much to cover, I'm not sure where to start. Shanna should hurry up! I'm sorry, Ricky, it's just. For as long as I remember, the Mekon have been the enemy. But if you asked me why, I couldn't answer you. Yeah, Ricky not know too. Ricky, what do you think of when someone mentions the Mekon? Mekon look like sad machines. What are you talking about? Are you saying you feel sorry for them? Shall I not like Ricky's words? Well, I, I guess I don't mean that. We're so different. We're bound to see things differently. Ricky think Mekon with faces almost sad looking. Most sad looking. I mean, I don't disagree with you there. When we found out there were homes inside them, it was shocking to say the least. Ricky feel lucky to travel with Shala and friends. Ricky learn lots. Ricky feel scared most of time, but see and hear many things. They make Ricky better here upon. Oh. Okay, now we just have the other two routes. Which should be fairly quick. And then we'll probably do one more. Because I want to get through these heart to hearts at some, at some reasonable rate. Go 
this one first. That's an unusual perspective. I've never seen them that way, but I guess I can see what you mean. Ricky always think this! Well, our backgrounds are very different. I've never had time to think about their feelings. Shala has lost many friends. Ricky not sensitive to Shala. Ricky always pon around when should talk serious. No, Ricky, it's not that. It's actually quite nice to find someone who thinks differently. The Mechon have never attacked your home, thank goodness. So it's natural that you have a different perspective. Shala's so kind to Ricky. Ricky not know what to say. It's alright, Ricky. You don't have to say anything. Oh. One more. So many heart to hearts. Yeah. No, Ricky, that's not true. What's gotten into you? This isn't the Ricky I know. Normally you're brimming with self-confidence. Really? Ricky not a Ricky? We know the Nopon and Mekon never crossed path before. But that doesn't mean we think that you're not up to the challenge. You're one of us, Ricky. Ricky, sorry, Shola. Ricky feel better now. Don't mention it, Ricky. We've all got our own reasons for fighting in this war. Some fight for their family, some for the friends they lost. Ricky happy he talked to Shala! Ricky super happy! You and me are friends, Ricky. Don't ever forget that. Let's fight to the very end. For all the people in this world. Oh. Okay. Moving on. Next heart to heart. This is one I've actually viewed already in Definitive Edition. Because Definitive Edition Affinity is whack. And you get lots more affini affinity in Definitive Edition because you're always under level. Who'd have thought? Anyway. Oh, we're level 69. Just realized that. That's funny. A broken watch. Shulk and Shara was purple affinity heart to heart. Because in Definitive Edition, they hit purple affinity real early. For some reason. Come on, come on. Where is it? You okay, Shala? Aha! Found it. My pocket watch. And still in one piece. More or less. It's kind of dirty. In fact, the face is all cracked and you can't even see the time. Oi, careful what you say. It's not a piece of junk. S sorry, Shala. What's it doing here, though? When we ran from the colony, I must have dropped it. A Thoron probably picked it up. You know, this thing looks kind of expensive. You should sell it. I bet you make a fortune. Let me be clear, Shock. I could never, ever sell this watch. I, I didn't mean to offend you. This watch was given to me by my dying father. It's very important to me. I'm sorry. I wouldn't have suggested that if I'd realized. It's fine. Forget it. It probably can't be fixed anyway. Hold on. I reckon I can fix it. All I need is an ether battery. Really? You can fix this? Just leave it to me, Shala. Back in Colony 9, I was the best repairman around. Then I'll leave it in your capable hands. Thanks, Shulk.
Cool. Oh, goodness. No, I do want to view this. See what the other it's kind of dirty root is. Was it a present from someone? Yes. My father gave it to me before he passed away. I'm sorry. It must mean a lot to you. It's all I have to remember him by. Lucky you found it. It's just a shame it's not working. A big shame, but at least I've got it back. Wait, if I had an ether battery, I might be able to fix it. You could? Don't joke with me. Can you really fix it? You can't just get them anywhere, but that's all I really need. If you want it fixed, leave it to me. Wow, I can't thank you enough, Shulk. And I'm sure it'll make a Juju happy as well. That's a little nicer. Let's see what we find out on the other route. No, I want to view it. It's a beautiful watch. The design is so elaborate. I've never seen one like it. So this is yours? Yes, it was my father's. He gave it to me before he died. It's nice. But why was it here? I think I dropped it here when we evacuated the colony. Athoram must have found it. I can tell he looked after it. Does it still work? No. From the looks of things, it stopped when I dropped it. It sticked its last talk. It's a really rare kind of watch. I'm sorry, Shala. I don't know if I can fix this. Are you sure? I thought you were good at repairing stuff. Kinda, but not that good. Hold on a second. There might be one way. If we had an ether battery, maybe. Leave it to me. I'll find one. Will you fix it for me then? It's a family heirloom, you see. My father gave it to me, and it, I'd be heartbroken if you couldn't. It sounds like a big deal to you, so I'll do everything I can. With any luck, you'll get your watch back. Oh, thank you so much, Shulk. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Time for the actual best fruit. Oh, gosh. So many heart-to-hearts to have. I can fix it. If we could just get our hand on the ether battery, I could fix it. Really? That would be amazing, Shulk. I can fix anything, no problem. The people at Colony 9 were always coming to me to fix things. You're so kind, Shulk. You don't know how much this watch means to me. I'll never forget how happy I was when my father gave it to me. I can tell you cherish it. You share Yeah. I hope I can make it work again. And if you need me to repair anything else, just ask. I'll let you know, Shulk. Thank you so much. Anyway, that is going to do it for this part. I see no reason to view the last heart to heart yet. Next time we're going to head back to Central Factory, do some stuff, 
get a little bit further. We only have one heart to heart view now to view now, so we'll get make more progress in Central Factory than I did this time. And maybe we'll view that last heart to heart, maybe we won't next time. I don't know. It depends. Whatever happens, I'll see you then.